Hi everybody and welcome back to the Little Miss Funeral YouTube channel. I was going through some old footage that I had from this summer when I filmed the crematory video with my friend Matt Roberts from Mount Calvary Cemetery and I had a ton of footage that I just never used for that original video. So I thought that it would be fun to kind of go back through it and give you all a behind the scenes video of the crematory. So I hope that you all enjoy it. So we are here outside of the crematory right now. When I bring somebody here, this is actually where we will pull up our car and we will enter. This is the car that we would use uh, to unload an individual with a casket or the minimum combustible container uh, if arriving to the back door. So basically, we slide the container onto here. Correct. And then this whole thing gets wheeled this way. This is a retort. Um, it performs the actual cremation process. Upon arrival, the crematory has prepared a delivery receipt, uh, essentially for the operator and the funeral director to sign. The funeral director comes with two pieces of documentation, a burial transit permit, as well as a completed cremation authorization. At that point in time, we review both documents, make sure they're completed in full, and that the spellings and everything match. We sign, you take a copy, I keep a copy. Then we are ready to place the individual into the retort. The individual is placed on the roller. An additional roller is placed in there that is made of cardboard. And then we place them all the way back into there. In the far back, you can see the opening to the secondary chamber. After the air cycle is completed, that's the first burner that's engaged. Once the preheat cycle is completed, the main burner is engaged, which is located directly down here. Um, all of this is done with the door closed. So when people talk about seeing the cremation, there's nothing to actually see because it's confined within the retour. Once the cremation process is completed, we use long-handled tools to collect all of the bone fragments and pull forward into a drop-down cha drop chamber right here. People have asked what it looks like. It's kind of like your science room skeleton. Uh, except the bones are so brittle at that point in time that they will actually start to break apart upon recovery. So everything is swept clear to the point where you have no visible bone fragments. Uh, so once the cremated remains have been cleaned out, we pull out the container and take them over to a processing station. This is the station where I would then use a magnet uh, as well as visual because I have to remove all incidental metals and not all metals are magnetic. At that point in time, the cremated remains are placed down into the pulverizer here, for lack of a better word, and then they are reduced to the point where no bone fragment is recognizable as any single particular bone. At that point in time, cremated remains are containerized in whatever urn or the crematory supplied urn, as well as with that metal ID tag and label affixed. The cremation certificate is attached to the container and we take them to our safe and lock them up until a funeral home comes to pick them back up from us. So there you have it everybody. I once again wanted to thank Matt Roberts from the Mount Calvary Cemetery Group for giving me the opportunity to film his crematory and share all of this awesome information with all of you. For anybody who hasn't checked out the first video from that series yet, I will put it in the description box below. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you all next time.